Welcome back to Math Party, people. Here in this video, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to convert fractions into percents now. So in the previous video, if you're watching other, you know, somewhere outside of the website, you might see the link right up there to the previous one where we talked about how to convert fractions into decimals. So now we're gonna convert fractions into percents here. So let's go ahead and get to it. And if you're in one of my courses, make sure to go to the next section after this to try the worksheet out. And the one after that, where you'll see the activity for the speed drill, where you'll have a bunch of random problems over and over being timed so that you can test yourself under pressure and really get better at this. So let's go ahead and get started here, right on. So we have this first one here again, write them as a percent and then round to the nearest tenth of a percent if necessary, right over here. So here we go, seven over 50. Now there's two real ways here. There's two real ways to do this. So it, it takes really the knowledge of what a percent really is. And so if you've seen any of my videos on percents or my lessons or been with me in tutoring, you know that I always say this, all percents are out of 100%, right? All percents are out of 100. And so there's two ways to deal with this. One, write the fraction out of 100. That's one way. The second way is to turn it into a decimal first and then multiply by 100 to turn it into a percent. So again, two ways, write this down. If you need to write this down, write this down. Again, method number one, method number one is write the fraction out of 100. So write the fraction right over here, write the fraction out of 100. Yeah, exactly, 100%. Or number two, second method is you wanna go ahead, turn into a decimal, then multiply by 100. So turn into a decimal, then, multi then multiply by 100 right here, and times 100%. That's how you do it. Either way works. Either way works, because they're both really the same idea. So first of all, let me show you how to do it in terms of writing the fraction out of 100%, and then I'll show you the other way for this same exact problem to prove to you that it works just the same. So here we go. So seven over 50, how do I get this out of 100? Is there a way for me to get this out of 100 from 50? Well, yeah, I can do that because what I need to do here is multiply this by two. If I multiply 50 by two, I would get 100. I would get that 100% on the bottom. Now, what's that one rule again? Oh yeah, whatever I do to the denominator, I do to the numerator, or whatever I do to the bottom, you do to the top, whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. So in this case, multiplying the bottom by two means multiply the top by two. And so this becomes 14. And so this is 14% out of 100%. And so there's your answer, 14%. So again, you can turn the denominator into 100 and whatever way you do that, again, just do the same thing to the top and you're good. Remember that it has to be with multiplication or division. It can't be with addition or subtraction. But let me show you the other way here. The second method, turn it into a decimal and then multiply by 100%. So in the previous video, we talked about, again, we talked about how to convert from a fraction to a decimal, and the easiest way to do that is just to divide. So that's exactly what I'll do over here. I'm gonna divide seven by 50. So let's divide right over here. 50 goes into seven how many times? Well, it's not gonna go in there as not even once. So we have to go ahead and use these decimal places to make sure that we're good. So how many times does 50 go into 70 then? Well, 50 goes into 70 one time. So I'll write one right there. Subtract the, the 50, I have 20 left over. And then from there, drop that zero. How many times does 50 go into 200? Well, that's gonna be four times. 50, 100, 150, 200. Nice and easy. And so with that said, booyah, that becomes a four right there. That's a clean 200, that's gone. And so 0.14. So step one, turn into a decimal. Then step two, multiply by 100. So what is 0 0.14 times 100? Well, remember, when you're multiplying by 100, all you need to do is move that decimal place to the right two times. And so I'll do that right here. One, two. So that becomes 14%. Same answer. Same answer. And we're good. So again, two different ways. If you can get the fraction to be out of 100, great, do that. 
or just go ahead and divide the numerator by the denominator and then convert that to a percent by multiplying by 100. Either way works. Check this one out over here, number two. So with number two here, hey, hey, before we get to crushing this problem, just wanted to remind you about my ASVAB All Access program. So if you have test anxiety, if you blank out on word problems, if you're frustrated and can't keep a solid study schedule, then this program is there to support you. Long story short, you're gonna be able to text me whenever you need help. You get all of the classes and the recordings so you can work around your schedule whenever you need to. On top of that, you're gonna get access to over 2,000 practice problems that let you learn from every mistake by watching video solutions to those math questions. Not like a textbook where you have to figure it out on your own. On top of that, there are way more features like practice tests, study guides, flashcard sets, all that good stuff. So go ahead, either text me or check out the link either somewhere here in this video or in the description. That way you can keep raising your score and get the job you want because that's what you're here for at the end of the day. Again, I'm Coach Anderson. Check out the All Access program and sign up and then keep going watching this video so you can keep crushing it. I'll see you there. I'm asking myself, okay, is there a way for me to turn 15 into 100 by just using multiplication or division pretty easily? I don't see it because 15 times six is gonna be 90. That's close, but it's not 100. So I need exactly 100 to be out of 100%. So I can't do it that way, but what I can do is this. I can go ahead and divide 15 into four. And then what I'll do is I'll turn that into a percent by multiplying by 100. So 15 goes into four, can't happen. 15 goes into 40, 15, 30, 45. Can't do 45, so just gonna be two times, 15, 30. So two times right there. And what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna subtract the 30. I got 10 left, drop that zero. Okay, so how many times does 50 go into 100? Well, 50 goes into 100, 15 goes into 100 six times because you have 15, 30, 45, 60, then 75, 90. So six times, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's gonna be six times minus 90, you got 10 left over. And if you notice, we're gonna continue having a 10. 10 here, 10 there. It's gonna keep getting a remainder of 10 and that's gonna keep repeating. It's gonna keep repeating. So this is gonna be a six, 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 repeating forever. And so that's our decimal, 0 0.26 repeating. And so to turn that into a percent, we again multiply by 100, multiply by 100, which just means do this, one, two. So this is 26.6 repeating percent. Now, which one's the closest to that? Well, again, we can round up because if you have 26 and then a bunch of sixes after, well, to round up, that'll become 27 or excuse me 26.7 percent and that is choice c just like that now up next let's go ahead and go to number three let's see what we can do here so again two methods either get the denominator to be out of 100 or go ahead and just divide and then convert it to a percent so can five go into 100 can we turn the denominator of five into out of 100 this is where your multiplication really matters because you need to know that five times 20, if you multiply by 20, that'll give you 100. And so you'll need to do the same thing up here. Four times 20 is 80. So you have 80% out of 100%, and that's D, right there. That's it right there. And so the other way, again, if you divided five into four, you would have seen this. So five doesn't go into four, so that's zero. Five goes into 48 times. And so then you subtract the 40, no remainders. Okay, so then you have 0 0.8 multiplied by 100. And again, you'll move the decimal place to the right once, twice, and that becomes 80%. So again, both ways work, both ways work just fine. Let's go over number four here, then we'll go over number five and we'll keep it going from there. So number four here, we have, oh, one half. Okay, what is one half as a percent? Well, you can ask yourself this. What's half of 100%? 50%. Boom. You know, sometimes you can use the, that, that knowledge that you know, that base knowledge that you know, to get yourself right there, get the job done. And again, the other way is going to be, hey, let's go ahead and turn that denominator into 100. 
So how do I go from one half to out of 100? Well, what I do know is that two times 50 is 100. And so I'll do the same thing to the top because again, whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And so you end up having 50 over 100. So 50% out of 100%. And that again, right there is 50%. Now let's go ahead here. Number five, 73 out of 100. Do we have to do any work here? No, it's already out of 100. It's already out of 100. This is 73% out of 100%. The answer is C. Nice and easy. Again, remember, the core principle, the core idea here is this. Percents are out of 100. And that's how you get that done. And so we can try one more out here, number six. So how do we get this one done? Well, here's the thing. This is out of 500 right now. So what do I do here? How do I get this done? Well, clearly, if we wanted to turn this out of 100, we would need to divide by five. But one to divide by five, not everybody feels comfortable with that, right? Not everybody feels comfortable with that. So what I'm gonna do instead is just to divide the 500 into one. I'll put those decimal places there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a decimal, then multiply by 100%, just like that. So here we go. What I'm gonna have here is 500 goes into one, it doesn't. Into 10, it doesn't. Into 100, it doesn't. Into 1,000? Yeah, twice. 500 times two is 1,000. So yeah, here, I'll put that there. Don't forget your decimals. So it's 0 0.002. And then from there, we go ahead, subtract that 1,000. Boom, bring down that zero. Not really necessary, but here we have it. We have our decimal as 0 0.002. Now, what we're going to do here is we are going to multiply this by 100%. And what we see is when we multiply by 100, remember, you move the decimal place to the right two times. So we have 1, 2, giving us right over there now 0.2%. Right there. And so that's how to handle a decimal percent, right? Because think about it. 1 out of 100% is 1%. 1 out of 500, that's a lot smaller than 1%. So that's going to be a decimal. That's going to be a decimal as you see right there. And so my party people, there you have it. We have more coming up here. We have 7, 8, all the way. Keep it going. But if you're in the course, again, look to the next section here. You're going to see that practice with the worksheet. And then you'll see a speed drill where you can test your speed out, get time, and see as far as you can go. And so my party people, I'm Anderson, I'm your math coach, always happy to be so. Move forward now, keep practicing, and let's master fractions. I'll see you in the next video.